The Newcastle Knights have enjoyed a big win before season 2008 even kicks off by securing Kurt Gidley to a long-term deal. Seen as a future captain of the club, it goes a long way to fulfilling Gidley's own dream of being a one-team man. 2007 couldn't have been much better for Kurt Gidley, earning both state and Australian representation. It also made him hot property on the player market. But the Knights have held off the courting clubs, signing him to a three-year contract with the option of a fourth. I haven't wiped the smile off my face um, you know, since I sort of made the decision last night. A hometown boy, it was always going to be hard to leave, but the 25-year-old sought advice from close friends and family, in particular his brother Matthew. I think Matt, you know, being a, a one-club man is, um, was something that also had a big, big uh, influence on it. While he hopes there isn't a need to fill the role on a regular basis for some time yet, club captaincy is a long-term goal. Definitely the guys who I've played with that have been captains, Bedsy, um, Joey, those sort of guys, Bill Peden, have, um, have been real leaders and I think they're definitely guys that I looked up to and it's something I'd, that I'd, I'd love to have a crack at, yeah. When someone of, of uh, Kurt's uh, quality resigns with his club, I think it's, it's sending a message, got some confidence about the place. Jim Callanan, NBN News. Gidley's signature is a timely boost only days before the season kicks off. However, the club remains open on the f future of current skipper Danny Badiris. Contracted until the end of 2009, Newcastle confirmed it won't stand in his way should he seek a release after this season. It's bound to be one of the ongoing stories of the season and it was hard to avoid more speculation today. The club admitting the playing future of Danny Badiris beyond this year lay squarely in his hands. We will work with him either way. If he wants to stay, uh, we will then work with the Surrey, Surrey Cup and stay. Uh, if his decision is to go and finish in England, uh, we wouldn't stand in his road either. The team to start the season against Canberra on Saturday night is also to be confirmed. Using a squad of 20, coach Brian Smith will wait until closer to game days this season before confirming his final 17, a tactic he'll employ throughout the season. Either way, it leaves a certain level of intrigue over some positions, particularly the halves. We'll be utilising all of the talents of those guys. Walsh is not even in the squad this week, but, but he will be at some stages. Uh, and we're, we're thinking we'll use all four of them. One thing is for sure, Luke Walsh won't be heading to France anytime soon. The NRL ending any chance he had of playing on an injury loan in the English Super League for Catalans, declaring that registered players can't hold dual contracts.